We're at the Organic Dairy Research Farm in Lee, New Hampshire, and we conduct research here on composting. So with this unique facility here, it's the only uh, organic dairy research farm in the country, uh, we had the ability to apply for some support from USDA to look at the farm as an agroecosystem. So I'll go ahead and turn everything to manual so we can get started with sampling. Composting is a growth industry. This turns out to be a very cost-effective way to compost and produce a very high quality compost product. It also allows capture of the heat energy produced by composting. So this is our aerated static pile composting facility and we load it with a mixture of horse manure, cow manure, waste hay, and animal bedding. So underneath these piles are aeration lines and as we suck air down through the piles we provide oxygen to the microbes which they need. So we're looking for 160 degree vapor temperature that we pull out and send into the heat exchanger. So all the heated vapor from all the composting bays goes into this giant heat exchanger right here. It's 30 feet long and 20 feet of it are contained within this vapor chamber with a stainless steel pipe in there. So basically when we warm up this 20 foot section here, it warms up the 10 foot section within the water tank and then we can use that 120 degree water for our basic on-farm needs. This is the point where all of the gas exhaust ultimately exits the facility. It comes through that pipe and then it travels here and exits up through these wood chips. And this is what we call a biofilter. But during the composting process, uh, many different gases are generated from the microbial activity. There's a lot of ammonia, for example, which can contribute to local air quality problems and a lot of carbon dioxide, which of course can contribute to climate change. And so a biofilter is one way that we can use to help trap some of those gases so they're not escaping into the atmosphere. Okay, so it looks like about 300 parts per minute. My role in this project has been to measure those gas concentrations throughout the composting process because they change at different stages and a variety of other factors. What's the range for ammonia? The benefit to a New England farmer is that fertilizer costs are going up and a composting product is a fertilizer and it's also a soil amendment. If we were a commercial facility, we would sell it and actually the sale of the compost is where you get the most money. But if you include heat production into this whole economic model, it accounts for about 20% of the value of the system. Managing an ecosystem is about closing cycles and using things more than once or using uh, low quality pine on the farm to produce the bedding, putting that together with a waste product to generate energy, and at the end we've got uh, a usable and possibly saleable compost product as well. 